Today's situation is a short daily show all about giving you the facts. Facts on important historical events that occurred on this day and the reason for their importance, scientific discoveries and their impact on humanity, famous birthdays, famous passings, technological discoveries and how they have advanced humanity. Hey, it's all about learning and having fun. So let's get started. Famous holidays and observances for April 11th. Today is Barbershop Quartet Day. A barbershop quartet is a group of four singers who sing music in a four-part harmony without any instrumental accompaniment. It includes melody, bass, tenor, and baritone voices. It is considered a blend of white and African-American musical styles. Today is 8-track tape day. An 8-track is a magnetic tape sound recording technology that was popular from the 1960s to the 1980s. The format is currently obsolete, but praised for its nostalgic sound. Hey, if you're enjoying this content, please remember to like and subscribe, and thank you. Now back to the commentary. Today is known as Global Day to End Child Sexual Abuse. In the United States alone, 1 in 5 girls and 1 in 20 boys will become victims of sexual abuse. It is an underreported crime, and we don't know truly how many children fall victim to sexual predators. Attempts to end sexual abuse does not solely fall on educating the public about this issue. People who are victims of sexual abuse have a tendency to become abusers themselves. The long-term effects are devastating and have lifetime consequences. You can learn more by clicking one of the links in the description below. Today is known as World Parkinson's Disease Day as well. Parkinson's is a long-term degenerative disorder of the central nervous system that affects the motor system. Symptoms include tremors, rigidity, slowness, slowness of movement, and difficulty with walking. The cause of Parkinson's is still unknown. However, it has been linked to potential exposures to chemicals such as paraquat, chlorpyrifos, and trichloroethylene, along with exposure to pesticides. To learn more about Parkinson's and what you can do, click in the link in the description below. Today is also Good Deeds Day. Global Deeds Day is a global day that unites people from 108 countries to do good deeds for the benefit of others and the planet. At a time when we are still suffering the effects from a global pandemic and its mishandling, now more than ever, let's inject some good into the world. Do something good by raising awareness to a before-mentioned issue or help your neighbor out. You never know the true power of a helping hand or a smile because more often than not, people tend to hide their suffering and they suffer in silence. Spreading positivity is something that should be occurring more often these days to give others hope. You can learn more about Good Deeds Day by clicking the link in the description below. Important Historical Events for April 11th In 1512, the Battle of Ravenna was fought. French forces commanded under Gaston de Foix defeated the Holy League in a major battle of the Italian Wars. What were the Italian Wars? They were wars fought between the years 1494 and 1559 in Italy during the Renaissance. Italy was economically advanced but was politically divided, and because it was divided, it became a battleground for European supremacy. The English, French, Spanish, and Dutch were all after Italy at this point in time. Sounds like a group of hungry guys at Olive Garden fighting over the last breadstick. In 1783 on this day, the hostilities formally ceased during the American Revolutionary War. In 1814, Napoleon Bonaparte abdicated unconditionally and he was exiled to the island of Elba in the Mediterranean. What does it mean to abdicate? Abdication is the act of formally relinquishing monarchical authority. Throughout history, abdication has been a way to maintain stability during political succession. In 1868, the shogunate was abolished in Japan. What was the shogunate? In Japanese, the term bakufu which means tent government, was the figure of speech for the type of system the government had become in Japan, which was a feudal military dictatorship style. Prior to its abolishment, there were many territories under that type of rule in Japan between the years 1192 through 1867. 
Yet, at the same time, the Emperor of Japan held ownership and command over all of Japan. This was the time of daimyos, samurai, and feudal wars. In 1955, a regular flight chartered through Air India called the Kashmir Princess was attacked. It was damaged in mid-air by a bomb explosion and it crashed into the South China Sea. 16 people were killed and only 3 survived. It was an assassination attempt on the Chinese Premier Zhao Enlai, but he had missed the flight due to a medical emergency. It was suspected that the KMT and CIA were behind this attack. In 1968, United States President Lyndon B. Johnson signed the historic 1968 Civil Rights Act. It was long overdue, and in all honesty, more could have been done. The purpose of the Civil Rights Movement was to bring attention to the prejudice and violence people of color received at the hands of a racially divided America. It is astounding to see that this was only 53 years ago. Half of a century ago, a congressional document had to be created to tell people, hey, Racism is bad. You should stop it. Yet today, we still see a systemic racism and prejudice across the board. What changes need to happen in our educational system and the political system in the United States to achieve progress at a higher rate? In 2015, Barack Obama and Raul Castro met in Panama. It was the first meeting of US and Cuban heads of state since the Cuban Revolution. This is known as the Cuban Thaw. It ended a 54-year stretch of hostility between the nations. It was a normalization agreement that would lift the US travel restrictions, have fewer restrictions on remittances, and US banks would gain access to the Cuban financial system. It also saw the reopening of the US Embassy in Havana and the Cuban Embassy in Washington. They had been closed since 1961. In 2019, Sudanese President Omar al-Bashir was overthrown and arrested by the army in Khartoum after 29 years in power. He was ousted by a military coup and the power was transferred to a civilian prime minister named Avadaya Amdok. It's rather ironic seeing as how Omar had originally gained his position of power through a coup as well, by ousting Hassan al-Turabi in 1999. Fun facts for April 11th. In 1955, Marty, directed by Delbert Mann and starring Ernest Borgnine and Betsy Blair, premiered in New York. It won Best Picture for 1956. In 1966, Frank Sinatra recorded Strangers in the Night, a single for his album of the same name. It later reached number one on the Billboard charts. Fun sports facts for April 11th. In 1750, Jack Slack retained Champion of England boxing title by beating the Frenchman Jean Petit in seven rounds in Harleston, England. It is acknowledged as the first international prize fight. Famous birthdays on April 11th. 146 AD, Lucius Septimius Severus Augustus was born, the Roman emperor who conquered all of Mesopotamia and parts of England. In 1899, Percy Levon Julian was born. He was the first person to synthesize the natural product called it is used to treat glaucoma, delayed gastric emptying, and treats anti-cholinergenic poisoning. He pioneered the industrial large-scale synthesis of the human hormones progesterone and testosterone from plant sterols. This led to the creation of cortisone, corticosteroids, and birth control pills. He was the first African-American chemist that was inducted into the National Academy of Sciences, being one of the first African Americans to receive a doctorate in chemistry and receive more than 130 chemical patents. Truly someone to look up to and admire. Thank you, Percy, for your incredible discoveries and hard work. In 1971, Oliver Rydell was born. He is currently the bassist for the band Ramstein. Before being part of Ramstein, he played bass in a different band that focused on folk and punk at the same time then entered a contest that allowed them to record a four-track demo professionally. This led to the path of eventually creating Ramstein. He is the tallest member in the band and likes to play bass fingerstyle. Famous passings on April 11th. In the year 1034, Romanos III of Aryuro passed. He was a Byzantine emperor from 1028 through 1034. His reign was short-lived because he was murdered by his wife. It is uncertain if it was through poison or if she paid someone to kill him. Talk about internal affairs. In 1856, Juan Santa Maria Rodriguez passed. He was a drummer in the Costa Rican army. He is recognized as a national hero for his country for the actions he took during the filibuster war. 
He died in the battle carrying a torch that lit the enemy stronghold on fire, which secured a victory for Costa Rica against imperialist forces. He has since then been idealized and used as propaganda to inspire Costa Rican nationalism. In 1926, Luther Burbank passed. He was a botanist, horticulturist, and a pioneer in agricultural science. He developed more than 800 strains of plants. He created the russet Burbank potato as well. The large, brown-skinned, white-fleshed potato is the world's most used potato in food processing. The russet Burbank potato was invented to help with the devastating situation in Ireland, known as the Great Famine. Thank you, Luther, for your hard work. In 2013, Maria Tallchief passed. She is considered America's first major prima ballerina and helped revolutionize ballet. Her passion for ballet and highly expressive dancing helped create the Nutcracker into America's most popular ballet. This has been today's situation. Thank you for joining us. See you next time.